I tried to obtain the ancient armor in Breath of the Wild, but every single enemy in the game is a guardian. When you start a playthrough of Breath of the Wild, the Great Plateau is an inherently peaceful place. Not a lot of enemies, most of which can be defeated easily. Offer the guardian an apple. You know what? That's a great idea. Do you want this? Is this something that you would like? I think he prefers them cooked. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> ah! Oh! I did it! Okay! Oh! oh my god! That is horrifying! And we only died, what, like twice? Two, three times? I don't know. After struggling to activate the very first tower, you can probably imagine how getting to each of the runes went too. That's not very promising, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, leave that one alone! Oh my god! But after grinding out steps and absolutely locking in, we managed to grab Magnesis, Stasis, Bombs, and Cryonis, all while having a literal target on my back at all times. Or eight. I managed to grab a shield in Stasis, and with that, I could parry Guardian Beams back at them to kill them. I grabbed the Paraglider and made my way towards the real challenge. Now, the total cost of the Ancient Armor set is a whopping 6,000 rupees, so I started by running around Hyrule to find as many rupees and gemstones as I could. I also set out to get both the Master Sword and the Hylian Shield for security, since this mod scares me. After finding some gemstones scattered around the castle, I made my way into the lockup to acquire the Hylian Shield. But after killing the replaced mini-boss, not only did I not receive my shield, but I couldn't even leave due to the boss gates remaining closed. So now that the Hylian Shield is out of the picture, I cut my losses and ran to the armory to obtain a Savage Lionel Shield, along with a Knight's Shield out in front of the castle. These shields aren't that much better than normal ones, but the extra durability can come in handy when you're used to using a pot lid. My next location was to get to Kakariko. I wind bombed over, tamed a horse, and grabbed the topaz outside of the village before selling everything I had, grabbing some fairies, and listened to this snooze fest. Old lady loves to yap, I swear. We made our way to Hateno, grabbed the camera rune, and completed the truly beloved side quest for another silver rupee. We're just bouncing around at this point, so our next destination is the Korok Forest to grab the Master Sword, because why not? The only problem is that you need 13 hearts to acquire it. How could I possibly get it right now? There we go. Jesus Christ. All right, we got our sword, a couple shields, and some decent money. I'd say it's time we head for the most difficult part of this challenge, the Akala Laboratory. Now, normally when you go here, there's a blue flame, much like in Hateno, that needs to be transported to power the lab. In the standard game, there is a straightforward path, a couple tough enemies, but realistically, it's a pretty non-challenging task. This is how it went. God, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be impossible, dude. Check this out. This is gonna be sick. We're gonna do this. No, why? I didn't mean to. Oh, that was gonna be sick. And then I ruined it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Excuse me. <laughs> There's like four different angles here. Now, obviously, I could go around and kill every guardian beforehand to make this entire walk way easier. The only problem with that is that in this mod, anytime you die or reload the save, every single guardian respawns. So I have to either kill every single guardian on a single try, or I have to get extremely lucky. Oh, yeah. Fuck, the fire ran out. Are you kidding me? Okay, right there. Did I hit it? Okay, so the answer is no, I didn't hit it. So right there. How did I miss? What are you talking about, bro? Get an ancient bow and snipe. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Wait, how do you get the ancient bow? Oh, yeah, you get the fire to the lamp. All right, we're good. This is perfect. He has no clue I'm here. I need you to go away. We're running it all the way. No! Where? You! Not you! Fuck! How did you see me, bro? The research lab is literally right there. Ugh. 
now I have to get my torch. I have to bring it over without dying. Oh my god, if I die, I'm gonna lose my shit. I believe I have made this a foolproof plan. Please! I can see it in the distance! It's finally- No! No, 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 no. I don't taste very good. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? Right here. Okay. Oh! <laughs> After dying a grand total of 51 times, we finally reached the lab. Now that we have access to our new friend, Cherry, all we need to do is grab a little more money and a few more armor cores, and we could call this challenge a win. After raiding a couple chests, I buy our first piece of armor and begin my second quest for some money. I head over to Gerudo Highlands, and after a while of grinding, I'm basically robbing Hyrule Blind, grabbing every gem and rupee in sight. I get to the Yiga Clan hideout. Um, yeah, I'd like to make a withdrawal of everything you own. After selling everything I found, I ended up with more than enough to acquire the final two pieces of armor and all I needed was six ancient cores, which of course you get by boxing a couple guardians. I decided to head back to the Yiga hideout because in such a tight space, they can't really move around, allowing me to smack them in their little nuts. Now I'm not gonna lie, I might have gotten a little sidetracked. I'm here to gamble. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll win, I'll win. Fuck this guy. He's, he's taking my money. All right, maybe we'll do one more. Maybe we'll do one more. Fuck. I'm not going to leave here with less than 5,000, okay? Like I said, surely you wouldn't settle for only one win in a... Ah, you got a good point. Shit. Oh, my God. And it just, it just keeps coming back. You know what? We're going to do another one. Check me out. Two in a row right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And now we're on a hot streak. This is where we really take advantage, all right? Check me out. Keep it coming, baby. Keep it coming, baby. Uh, all right. I think uh, I think I'm good. You know what? We came out with 108 more than we started. Moral of the story, always gamble. Oh, yeah. Now this is the life. Let's go for a little swim. Ooh, the water's so nice. This feels great. Little dog. <gasps> oh, yeah. Who's a good boy? Holy shit. This is not good. This is really bad. What just happened? But after a while of killing guardians with no results, I just decided that it'd be best to grab the ancient cores elsewhere. So I grabbed a few in the maze and a couple shrines. Once I had the chest piece, I had two cores left to get and ultimately decided if I was going to complete the set, it might as well be through the blood of the enemy. And after killing a few more guardians, I was gifted the final two cores, allowing my armor set to be complete. I wanted to see how much I could pawn off all my extra guardian parts, so I went to go sell them. Why didn't I just do this for all my money? What? Since my objective was complete, all I could think of to do now was just beat the game. I marched into the castle, grabbed a couple weapons, and entered the sanctum where I wiped the floor with the blights. Ganon didn't stand a chance, and after one attempt, the game was complete. <laughs> Click right here to see another video just like this one. You're running out of time. Click the video!